117 billion and 800 million. What is this number? Well, it's the number of speckled trout eggs resulting from all the speckled trout that have been released underneath the Release Over 20 initiative. And this raises the question, what is Release Over 20? Release Over 20 is a conservation initiative begun in May of 2020 by Ice Strike Fishing partner David Flad. And to date, this initiative has released nearly 6,000 speckled trout over 20 inches in length. So this is how it works. Any inshore angler who catches a speckled trout that's 20 inches in length or longer, they can submit that speckled trout to the Release Over 20 website in exchange for recognition on their leaderboard and to be entered for a monthly drawing of different prizes. But why 20 inches? Why is it that releasing uh, this particular kind of speckled trout of a specific length, why is it so important to release that fish? Well, it has a lot to do with those eggs that I mentioned earlier. A 20 inch trout is approximately four years old. If you start with 1,000 trout at year zero, only eight will remain at year four. Big trout are rare. A 20 inch trout is a survivor. It's important to pass on those superior genetics. Egg production on larger trout increases exponentially. A 20 inch speckled trout releases over 20 million eggs annually. And this is especially important considering that almost all speckled trout over 20 inches in length are female. So when you release a 20 inch speckled trout, you're not releasing just any kind of speckled trout, but one that's gonna pass on better genetics to make a better speckled trout population. And not just better genetics, but also more eggs containing those genetics. Surely you can see that the speckled trout fishing in Louisiana is pretty good, but if you've been around for a while, then you know that today's fishing is a shadow of what we had 10, 12, even 15 years ago. And I personally feel that we, as inshore anglers, are empowered to make a big difference. And what I personally find fascinating about this whole Release Over 20 concept is that it gives us all something realistic that we can aim at. A 20 inch speckled trout is not so common that you're going to catch uh, a whole bunch of them every time you go out, but they're not so rare that you'll never catch them uh, within a year of inshore fishing. I personally feel that releasing speckled trout 20 inches and longer is a great way to give back to Louisiana's fishery and preserve what we have for future generations. So since Louisiana has such a vast coastline, she has all these thousands of square miles of marsh it is that we can fish for speckled trout. Surely she's leading the way in the leaderboard on release over 20. <laughs> Wrong. <laughs> and well, let's see, Virginia, North Carolina, Texas, Florida, South Carolina, Mississippi, Alabama, Louisiana with 17. How is it that Alabama and Mississippi, both states with substantially smaller coastlines than our own, are beating us? But this is just the leaderboard for the year 2022. Maybe uh, Louisiana's just having a bad year. So uh, what is the leaderboard for all time? And it is even worse, actually. Uh, Louisiana has 65 submissions overall ever since the beginning of this thing in May 2020. Boom, Alabama's 202, Mississippi's 265, so on and so forth. Virginia somehow has 2,457. They, they just, I guess this program is very popular in Virginia. It's all, it's, that's all I can think of here. And then for 2022 in Louisiana, we have uh, David and Flex uh, holding it down uh, with their seven and two submissions respectively. And then there's a bunch of singles below that. Thank you everyone who has helped put Louisiana on the map. So I know that I catch 20 inch speckled trout often enough and have been promoting release over 20 in my content since its inception. But I haven't been actually submitting them to release over 20 and it's time for that to change. Join me, let's hit the water, using different techniques and lures to target and catch 20 inch speckled trout so that we may enter them on the Release Over 20 website and see if we can't get Louisiana a little higher up in that leaderboard. So rafting mullet, something I love fishing during the springtime is rafting mullet. That's what we have over here. 
I think there's big girls are sitting on the outside of the raft waiting for one of them to screw up. So I cast into the mullet and work the top water out of it. And I like to think that they look at the top water and they go, huh, that looks like something I should eat. That looks like a mullet that's screwing up right there. Then they whack it, but it is not a mullet. It's a big old top water. There we go. Man, if this is a trout, it's a nice one. Man, this water is so clean. Yeah, it's a nice trout. Man, the first trout of the day may be a 20 incher. Look at the net. There we go. Bam. First fish of the day is an absolute stud hammer. Oh, what? What a badass. Look at her. Check her out. All right, need to carefully, gingerly remove these treble hooks because these things are scary. These are mustad triple. Tr these are mustad triple grips, and they are sticky. I had one go through a thumbnail once, and I'd like to not do that again. I'll see how long she is. There we go. Man, she looks like she'd be a lot longer than 21 inches, but there we go. There she is. These are the kind of hammer speckle trout I'm talking about, man. Hammer speckle trout for you. All right, let's do it again. Oh yeah, I, I meant to go over conditions. So, it is flat calm. The wind's gonna pick up later today though. It's supposed to blow like five to 10 mile per hour, then get up to like 10 to 15, but I, I'm ho I will hopefully be gone by then. The tide's coming in, I think it's like a foot and a half uh, tide range, and it bottomed out around midnight or so. So it's coming in pretty good right now, even though it's not, obviously not all the way up yet that won't be until this afternoon it's gonna be sunny which i'm not crazy about i would prefer for it to be overcast but you know you just gotta just gotta fish the cards you're dealt that's it everyone gets backlash it happens especially myself because i have this brain disease where i have to back off the brakes back off that tension knob right onto the edge of disaster sometimes there's disaster but I get it out. I'm experienced. I'm gonna try something a little different. Let's try Corky on. I believe this color is called Toxic Tide. Dude, this is a this if this is a trout, it's an absolute monster. This can't be a trout, it has to be a redfish. It has to be a redfish.
but I'm not gonna be rowdy with it. I'm just gonna take my time. I thought I snagged a mullet at first because I could feel them bumping up against the bait. So when I first felt that, I didn't really take it seriously, but then I was like, dude, just swing. If you re if you just, if you're reeling a mullet, so what? I don't know. Oh, dude, dude. Oh, it's a, it's a freaking redfish. Dag nab it. All right, come here, redfish. You need to stop messing up my trout bite and you need to get over here and get unhooked. Hey, buddy. What a gorgeous animal. Come here, dummy. Oh, man. And he hammered it down too. Absolutely hammered that bait down. Oh dude, this fish. Look at this guys. Oh geez, it is buried in there. Well, I'm getting it back. All right, there we go. Not a bad redfish, but not the fish we're looking for. There you go, buddy. Oh gosh, I catch a fish, so homeboy's gotta come get right in front of me. Homeboy's about to learn what this cork is all about. Hope I didn't plan on casting there. What in the absolute hell? Good morning. Good morning, how you doing? Not bad. Caught any? No. Not yet. Catch any trout? No. Man, it is warm. Oh, that was so cool. I'm gonna try slightly different top water. Cause it's kind of shiny. It's a little sunny outside. Let's put on something that's chrome. And as you can see, this bait's been chewed up quite a bit. It definitely works. This bait, this particular top water is also uh, a little smaller too. Maybe that smaller profile worked better. I don't know, man. I'm just trying. <sighs> caught, caught a freaking mullet. That's bound to happen. Let me show y'all something. See this guy right here? This is what we see out there in the water over there in front of the boat. But a mullet like this, I'm not saying it's, it's too big for speckled trout to eat, but I like mullet that are a little smaller than this. Mullet that are about the size of a finger, what we call finger mullet. And they are out there, I, see, I can see them. Right there in front of the boat. Oh, it's a nice trout. Oh, it's a nice one. It's at least as nice. It's nice. And it's pulling drag. Drag pulling trout, baby. Drag pulling speckled trout, hell yeah. This is like just the coolest thing in the world, man. Take it easy. Not in a hurry to lose this fish. Unreal. Absolutely unreal. I would much rather catch one trout like this all day long than 50 under a cork. 
I'd rather catch one trout like this all day long than 25 on a jig. Oh my goodness. Come on, girl. We gotta get you taken care of like now. When she's not hanging on by much. There we go. Into the net. Into the net. Just another gorgeous speckled trout. She came. She came on that mirror, Dean. And she was not hooked by much. I tell you what, guys. Bam. Another gorgeous speckled trout. Look at that. Look at that. Oh. All right. Let's see how long she is. And she is almost 21 inches. There she goes. Yeah, she was out away from that raft of mullet, but I still see mullet swimming around out here. I tell you what, she's 21 inches. I mean, she, she was almost 21 inches, but she was fat. That's a fat football shaped speckled trout, man. Yo, there's a shark right there. What's up, shark? Just uh, don't mess with my trout, don't mess with my tackle, and we'll be cool. No seagull, no seagull, no, no, no. It's absolutely unreal how clean the water is here. She just scared the shit out of me. Hmm, yeah, this sun isn't helping. All right, let's try throwing something different, man. I just don't know what the deal is, if there's just not a whole lot of fish here or if they're here and they're just being picky or what's going on. So I'm gonna throw a double rig with two little smaller like two and a half inch baits on it, eighth ounce jig head a piece. And uh, it's, it's a pretty good, deal to fish around submergent grass submerged grass it's a good natural color i mean I, I really i really dig that look it's got the shiny eye so let's try this out oh yeah that looks good The heck, no way, not on the first cast. It's never that easy. It's a redfish, that's why. Dag nabbit. Oh my God, there's a whole school of them. Holy and I got a double rig. This is a double rig. I might double up on redfish here. God, I really don't want to double up on redfish. I'm doubled up on red, I have two redfish. Literally can't make this up. I think one came off. Oh no, he did come off. Darn it. Oh my gosh, yeah, one came off. He just broke the leader line or something. Guys, I, there's like 10 redfish in that school, at least. Well, I did have two on, but man, I just don't even know how I would ever land two redfish at the same time. That's just ridiculous. Man, first cast, <laughs> two redfish, land one. Not the fish I'm looking for. Still fun though, that was really fun. So uh, let's get homeboy back in the water. There we go. Oh, there's something tailing ahead of me. Uh, it's not a trout, probably a redfish. Here's a trout, speaking of. It's a nice one. Oh, 
Into the boat you go. Bam. Yeah, nice way to get that tangled up all around the key, man. You're an expert, huh? Bam. Nice hammer trap. All right, let's uh see how let's see how long she is. And she is uh not 20 inches. Close though, still a nice fish. Ultimately, you should do what it is that you want to do with the fish that you catch. But I'm hoping that with this video, you're inspired to do something more. Speckle trout like these are simply too valuable to only be caught once and do a far greater service to me and you being released back into their natural habitat. So if you'd like to join me in this effort in putting Louisiana on the leaderboard, then all you have to do is submit your next 20 inch catch at releaseover20.org. After this fishing trip, I'll be adding a couple more and you can always check the leaderboard to see if I've been catching any more. Last but certainly not least, I'd like to thank all the members of LAFB Elite. If it weren't for them, these YouTube videos would not be possible. So if you're not a member, you can consider thanking them as well in the comment section below. And if you're not a member, you should consider the benefits of membership. The number one thing that catches fish is knowledge, practical fishing know-how. And this is what I teach inside LAFB Elite with courses like Inshore Fishing 101, Sight Fishing Mastery School, and more. Courses that you'll find useful are my season specific courses for spring, summer, fall, and winter, specifically targeting speckled trout and redfish. If you'd like to learn more, then you can visit LAFBElite.com or you can use the link in the video description below along with all the other important links for today's video. And it goes without saying that if you enjoyed this video, you know what to do. Thanks for watching and tight lines. <laughs>